Hello everyone and welcome to Low Budget Otaku and today I'm bringing another opinion piece to you guys and it is the pigments that I think desperately need re-releases sometimes you know the best way to boost your sales is not just to make new 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 figures it's also to re-release some figures that people like me desperately want but because they were released some time ago now they're too expensive and I'm going to bring you my list of those figures and I hope you guys comment in the comment section below which figure do you guys are desperate to see Figma re-release now the list that I made is not just figures that I think they should re-release because I like them because I think they make sense and what I mean is I think it's the opportune time for a re-release so let's start our list by Figma's 196 Okabe Rinteru and Figma's 098 Kiritsu? I think that's her name. You know, the two characters from Steins Gate. Now, there's two versions of Kiritsu one where she has a lab coat and the other one where she has normal clothes. I would prefer they release the normal clothes one because I think it's more faithful to the show. But these two characters are amazing. Two great Figma figures, very anime accurate, very lifelike. And because of the release of Steins Gate Zero, I think there's a new wave of popularity for the show. The new show is really good. If you haven't watched it yet, I advise you to watch it. It is a very good show, and I do think that because of this show, there's a lot of people that would love to get these two Figmas. And I think I'm not the only one, because if you go to eBay, you're going to see that there's a surge in the prices compared to not too long ago. Not too long ago, the prices were not bad. I was actually thinking about getting them before, even though they were out for some time. But uh, I couldn't, I didn't have the budget at the time. And suddenly the price started picking. So I did think that Figma re-releasing these two figures would really boost their sales and they would definitely see these figures getting huge appeal to the market. Another figure that definitely needs a re-release is Figma's 323 Midoriya from My Hero Academia. That figure sold out immediately when it came out and now it's ridiculously high the price. It is completely absurd, especially because it's not a figure that brings a lot of accessories, a lot of things. It's a very simple figure that shouldn't cost too much. Uh, but it is coming from a very popular show, so it sold out immediately. I think, considering that it's still ongoing, it's still very popular, it's time for Figma not just to re-release Midori, but come out with another character. I think I heard rumors that they were going to do Bakugo, but I'm not sure, I haven't seen any image, so I'm not sure if it is true or not. And if they're bringing uh, Bakugo, they should at the same time do a re-release of Midoriya. Everybody would be really happy. Another character they definitely need to make is All Might, but I'm probably going to do a list of Figma figures that need to be made. But not just re-release that were never made. And definitely All Might is there. Um, but yeah, please re-release Midori. Another one is one that um, I'm not sure, I, I was a little bit, like there are two uh, in this list that I'm a bit skeptical, but I think they can make sense. And one of them is Figma's Saitama. And uh, Figma Saitama is uh, like a complicated issue because they're going to do Genos, I think, soon. So, uh, Genos is definitely a character that they need to do. I'm very happy when uh, they announced they were going to do Genos. There's still no images online of it, but I hope they do do Genos justice. And I think because of the release of Genos, and I hope they release it more or less when the next season is coming, it would make sense for them to re release um, Saitama. Now, I think they should be careful with the pricing of Saitama if they do re-release it because I think the last time I think the price was too high for such a simple figure um, so either they change up Saitama a little bit to increase this value maybe add an extra head some more accessories 
because I think Saitama was very simple, even though, yes, the character is very simple, but I think a lot of people probably looked at it, and it was not that much value to him, and there's a KO of Saitama right now, so a, re a simple re-release, I don't think it would be enough to bring that attention for the figure, so maybe if they could tweak it a little bit, make it like a different version, I think they could uh, if they fix the problems that the original Saitama had and get with the push of the new season and with the push of the release of Genos, I think it still would be a nice addition. Another one is everything from Attack on Titan. Now Attack on Titan, high train went up, stayed a little bit there and then just plummeted because of how long it took for the second season to arrive and the second season was good but it was because of the high train dying out so fast I think it was people got disappointed a little bit and the third season is like it's still a popular show but I think the hype is not at the top as it was but still I do think that there is a place for them to re-release the female figures um, from the show because I do think the show is still popular enough for people to get it. Maybe not, you know, don't release too much units. I don't know. It, I still think, especially because the KOs, for what I've heard, are shit from Attack on Titan. They're, the joints are like the worst of the worst from the fake man figures that are out there. So I don't really think that the KOs are like. Like a substitute for people that want those figures but they cannot buy them at the original price and now the originals are extremely expensive for the figures that they are so yeah maybe a re-release would not be that bad next we got Neon Genesis Evangelion Figma Ray and Figma Azuka now these two I didn't even know that they existed because I think they are a bit older Figmas and but they look so good, they bring the cockpits, um, they look amazing, uh, but they are hard to get to get. Now, you have a, a third character that I'm forgetting the name right now, but it is from one of the, mo the latest movies, uh, but that one you can actually get at a decent price, but then Rei and Azuka, and the price goes ridiculously up, and considering that next year, I think it's next year, the new Evangelion movie is coming out, I think it would be the perfect time to re-release those two characters, maybe even release a new character from the show, whatever, but I think you can capitalize because Neon Genesis Evangelion is a classic and is one of the most popular shows, and I do think the figmas uh, from those two characters are much better than Rebel Text, so I do think you have a market there, a re-release would be perfect time with the movie. We are seeing a lot of things from model kits doing this and I think it's time for also some brands of figures to do the same, to capitalize on the resurgence of popularity of these shows. And finally we have Figmas, that BP, I don't know why it's called BP, from uh, Code Geass, Lush of the Rebellion. We have Lush and we have uh, oh my God, I'm forgetting the name. Wait, I gotta check the name. Suzaki. Suzaku. <laughs> I, I, because I'm, I was thinking about Sasuke from Naruto. Sasuku. And um, both characters look really good. I think, again, I think Figma is perfect for those type of characters. Again, they are a bit old, but we are having the release of the movies the recap movies and then it's going to be the release of the third movie that is going to be like season 3 in a movie so it's like a continuation of the story I actually saw online that actually it's not continuing this series it's going to continue these recap movies that change some things slightly so really I think it's important to watch this movie before watching the third movie that is going to continue the story and yes, I think the hype that's going to be built on Code Geass was an immensely popular I anime. Mean, would be ideal for a release of famous from the show. Even like not just releasing those two, but if you could add Colin, for example. 
Now, yeah, call one in a Figma figure. That will look amazing. Uh, but yeah, those are my small list. I probably am forgetting a lot of different shows and figments that could be released. Now, these ones I thought immediately because of the shows that are coming out. There's a lot of different characters that could be released from very popular shows that are coming out right now. But these are the ones that already exist. You just could re-release them and they would sell very well. And we would all be happy in collecting. So, but hey, but hey, this is my list. I want you guys to comment in the section below which things you really want to see re-released at the original prices. And I'm uh, probably going to uh, soon do a, a video that I'm going to call Quick Review. So it's different reviews than my normal reviews, are going to be shorter, uh, but we're going to be more about kind of model kits, things like that, where I don't need to do like an elaborate intro, just straight to the point, five to six minutes reviews. Um, but then I'm going to release, I hope in the weekend, a full review, like my normal reviews. And I also have some videos like this that I'm planning and I'm still finishing this guy here. Uh, I'm still <laughs> missing to put the decals on him so that I can also review him. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you know when my new videos are up. And I'll see you guys next time.